and I'm going to give it just another shot here. I don't really have time to get to one of my further parks. And it's adjacent to a school, and it's school hours, but I don't expect the kids to be out for another hour, an hour and a half or so. In which case, I plan to be gone. I just, uh, when the kids are around, I just don't, uh, I don't hang around this part of the park. So, uh, we'll see if I can find anything. Don't expect much, but, uh, you know, give it a shot. And this is my Friday, so this is sort of my check down hunt. I either find something big or find almost nothing at all, and then I go to my more fruitful places, uh, on Saturdays and Sundays. So we'll see how it works out. Talk to you later. Ring out here with a little piece of rope on there. Very shallow. I'm in a trash area so I'm doing what I call uncommon signals. It's so trashy I'm not going to be able to dig, dig all the identical signals but if I find something that stands out I'm going to try to dig it. It could mean I'll miss something valuable but there's no way to avoid that in a trashy area so we'll see how it works out. And now there's a lot of pull tabs to sit around here, but I'll just look for that one unusual signal. It wasn't necessarily high, but it was different. It was very deep, so. But, uh, that's cool. Up kid, so that means it's time for me to move on. Uh, maybe find a park less, uh, less, uh, kid crazy for the next few minutes, and, uh, I will see you at my next park. Well, I found my first full-size lock. <laughs> Master lock. Everybody, this is Texas Tiger Digs, and I guess I better complete my uh, second uh, weekly uh, uh, collection of finds. Uh, not a not a great week. Uh, a lot of short hunts, uh, what you see here in front of you, and you, you know, think, I'll just bring this down, is an accumulation of uh, uh, five hunts and probably accumulation of five to six hours. And uh, so I went out uh, the initial day, and I've got, you know, wasn't a bad hunt. And by the way, the the uh, I also got to specify the metal detectors. The metal detectors I use here were mostly uh, with the exception of just a guest appearance by the uh, by the Garrett AT Pro were mostly the uh, the XP Deus and the Fisher F19 so you know I went out and you know tried to you know tried to get to get a few hunts together my first hunt was not bad it's about an, it an hour maybe a little bit less maybe an hour and a half let's say an hour to hour and a half and I had the three quarters, three quarters a dime, and uh, another eight cents. wasn't a big day. Uh, next day I went out, and also uh, I'm, I'm going to a combination of parks. I'm going to the old park, and uh, you know I'm also hitting uh, some of the new parks that I've been scouting. They have not been the uh, the uh, honey hole I've been looking for and that I got in my uh, my my two parks prior but you know they, they're giving me a little clad this was a very short hunt but be 45 minutes and I got another quarter a few more dimes another quarter a few more dimes more pennies So respectable for about a couple of hours of hunting not great and then uh, of course I went out and this was uh, one of the parks I'd beaten up pretty good before but you know I never really give up on a park and then uh, according to the amount of time I get my nearby parks of course are the ones I've hit most often but I will go back to them if I just don't have time to go any further and considering the amount of time to beat up that's not a bad result a couple of quarters a couple of dimes and a penny what was interesting here was this. I think this is a, a, a release valve of some kind. It's got a little hole in the side and the dome. Gave her off a really good signal. And of course, you know, I dug it up and says, I thought it initially it was a bullet, but it's not. It's got a little hole all the way through it. So some kind of release valve. And this was uh, this was also found in one of my old parks. It's just a, uh, 
you know, hooked on some old, uh, some old rope, so no big deal here. Now this was really frustrating because when, when you get a 50 or a 52 on, uh, most any of my uh, detectors, if I'm running the, uh, the XP Deus at, uh, 8 kilohertz, so if I'm running the, the Pro, uh, AT Pro or the F1950 in a ring, it's something that dreams are made of, but 50 and a teeny tiny little ring here, and I have no idea what this is, but it's definitely not a finger ring. It's almost like a cog or something, because it's got it's got edges along, like stair steps along the edge of it. But boy, if you'd have told me I was gonna get a 50 and a ring that day, I would have thought it's gonna be a golden day. It wasn't. And and uh, this was also. Uh, this was a, not a bad hunt. Uh, you know, I, I had a bad morning and I hit the, the hunt. The, uh, the field is made up of two baseball fields, a large soccer field, and a large play area just adjacent to a tot lot. So I've got all these coins from that area, and that's one of my new scouted parks. I've only got one silver ring from there, so it's been kind of a disappointment in its return. But, uh, you, know, you know, any port in a storm. So it's got four more quarters, and one more dime. You know, but load more pennies. And today was a very, very short hunt. Uh, honeydews <laughs> appeared, and uh, not that I mind doing them, but uh, uh, so I just went out early and uh, went by another one of the scouted parks. This one hasn't given me any anything of value yet, but I really want to, don't want to give up on it. I got three or four soccer fields. I, I believe they're nearly created though. But I have two baseball fields I haven't really gotten into. Uh, and I really do need to give those baseball fields, those baseball fields or the, the outer edge of the diamonds into the outfield a really good thorough hit. But uh, it's really crowded and those baseball uh, diamonds are taken up quite often. But uh, you know, I, let, I went out today and got a, I got a few more dimes. And uh, but a little more pennies and a couple of more quarters. All right, so if you if you count all of this together, you probably show a cumulative hunt uh, of about uh, five six hours. Uh, so if five or six hours go, it could be worse. You know, you know this, this one dollar, two three dollars, three dollars and quarters, about a buck thirty in dimes. A nickel, and that's not enough nickels. When I don't get enough nickels, I don't think I'm actually doing the correct type of hunt. You know, just there's not nickels out there, and uh, a handful of pennies, so maybe four and a half dollars or so. You know, not not a lot of hunt, not a lot of return, but you know, that's not bad. And when you do a metal detecting vlog, you don't always get that good terminating thing. I was lucky enough to get the earring last time with a history. Did a good terminating hunt. Love those good terminating hunts. But this is metal detecting. You know, sometimes sometimes you find a good one, and sometimes you find you find just something that'll keep you going until the next week. And uh, you know, this is a vlog. I'm not doing a compilation, so you won't always see silver or a uh, diamond at the end of the rainbow.